Hello, we are Football Couple. Hello. And today we're going to be opening up the latest edition of the Panini Strike It magazine. But we have also gone ahead and picked up last month's edition because it does contain a limited edition that we need and we did miss it so we thought we would grab it and open it up in this video as well. So this is the issue that is available in shops now and it does retail for £4.99 which is a bit of a dodgy price increase. But you increased know. by a pound. Ready for the Premier League season. Yep, so we're going to crack straight into this one and take a little look at what you get and then we will move on to the latest edition. Yep, and for more football card openings, make sure you are subscribed to our channel if you aren't already. We're opening a lot even though it is summer. Yeah, we've got some good videos on it coming up throughout the summer, so keep an eye out for those. So we'll pop those over there for now. And then in here you do actually receive a free sticker album so that's pretty cool we yeah. don't actually have one of these unfortunately ours got a little damage uh, yes in the as you can see there and it's worse on the front but it is okay i don't matter too much as you can see this is a free version so that's kind of interesting i guess so pop that to the side for now we'll take a quick look at the cover we won't focus on this too much because it is an old edition as you can see there we do have the south american stars yeah for the copper america yeah interestingly we have neymar on there who hasn't actually played and will not play at all because he's injured so. yeah and it is the final today so yeah interesting he hasn't played a part in any of the matches <laughs> yeah but then we do have the african cup of nations represented there and the nations league as well as the women's world cup so that's quite cool but we'll put that to the side anyway like i said and we shall concentrate on this new version yeah the new look Ooh. so we'll, we'll have a quick comparison between the two be interesting to see which one you guys prefer oh okay this is very much more sticky interesting they've done with the new look and the timing of it as well yeah i guess they do have the rights to the premier league now so you will notice that the players on the front are in their club kits so that's quite an interesting yeah, I feature guess, i guess the premier league costs more, costs more that's why they have to put the price up yes it seems so so there we go, there is the new style in comparison to the old style. Yeah, as you can see the header is a lot different. Yep, especially. and like I said... And the actual logo itself. We have a lot of club kits now as opposed to the international kits. And that's pretty much the main thing. They have added the number one football, football, football and collectibles, so that's quite fun. Yeah. <laughs> so as usual we'll go through the packs and we'll take a look at this magazine on Mercam afterwards and see what they've added in there, that'd be interesting. But it does also come with some kind of little training drills. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, I guess. If you want to practice your skills. Yeah, quite fun for you to get to over summer, I guess. That's quite interesting. Okay, so which one shall we open up first? Shall we just go through the limited editions first? I think. Yeah, okay. So the one we missed last Okay, so this month. is the one that we missed is the Hazard and his Belgium kit. So that's quite an interesting one to get, especially with his more recent move. Yeah. It's quite a cool one to get. So we'll put that on here so we know that these packs came from that magazine. And here we go, here's a look at the Giroux. Yeah, they do release these limited editions every month, so one per month. So it has been going a while now. I think these yeah, are the there's... fourth magazine, fourth or maybe fifth. Yeah, there's but a couple there were... more to go, isn't there? If I'm right in saying there was two limited editions next time, maybe that'll say it in the magazine. Okay, so we'll start here, I think. Why not? So let's see what we get in this little pack. Yeah, this is a collection that we are collecting. Yeah, we do still need quite a bit as well, so there's a code if you do want it. There you go, enjoy. And it looks like our insert is towards the back, so we'll just go through it. So we have Johnny Evans, a Henriksen, Phil Hera, a Johnstein, and that will be our insert. So then we do have a Hennessy, and the insert is a fan's favourite hamstick, which is pretty good because we do need a lot of fan's so, favourite. Shall I do the other pack or just carry on with the same mag? Carry on with the same mag. Okay, so we're going to the stickers. This is not a collection we've collected. We've focused on the cards for the Road to 2020 stuff. So this is actually our first pack, if I think. Uh, yes, it is. I yes. think we've opened any. One's to stick in the album, I guess. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> so we have a Goralski. Of Poland, a Klaassen, Ricardo Rodriguez, a Kovacic, just signed permanently for Chelsea, and a Mounier. Okay, so then I shall do the ah. second and final pack for this magazine. I actually like the sticker pack design. 
yeah, it's really cool. I do like it. I don't know why we didn't open it. Like, this thing we wanted to focus on the cards. Yeah, but well, it looks like it got a shiny, so that's cool. Nice. Oh, awesome! So we have a um, Nations League highlight there, so that's quite cool. And then we do have a shiny. It is David Alba? So that's Alba. Alba, yeah. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Austrian. Panini do make good stickers. So that's definitely a thing. And we have a Patrick. <laughs> We have a Brabbit. Brabbit and a Chip G. Yeah. So interesting. So do you want to have the other pack of cards? Yeah, so this is the stuff from the new magazine this month. So we get a pack of cards from the 2020, Rota 2020 stuff. And it's actually stuck, so I have to open it upside down. No, I can't get into it. <laughs> Mine was really tough to get into as well. We got there. Ah, there we go. So can we get a shiny in here? So we have a Duda, Lustig, an Ekdal, Gareth Bale, maybe. So we have a Josh McGuinness and oh, oh nice. nice, we've got a top master Cristiano Ronaldo. I'd say not bad from a magazine pack. And that's not bad, unfortunately we do already have it yeah. and we probably did need fan favourites so I mean, we kind of need them to suck. <laughs> we also get a Panini tabloid. Yes, yes, pack. that's what it is. It's probably not our favourite collection, I won't lie. This yeah. is, well, this is our fourth pack, so I guess yeah. now we have a complete starter pack. We were supposed Yay! to have four packs in our starter pack, which we have opened on the channel. Yes. But we only got three, so. Not cool. Okay, so we will take a quick look at this. So we have an Eric's in there. Oh, we do have a shiny, that's quite cool. Uh, <laughs> dunk. We, dunk? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, nice. nice. We do have an Ozzle, so that's pretty cool. At least we got some good stuff. <laughs> got something decent. And then our shiny. Oh, we oh. have two shinies. We have the potential new Arsenal player. I'm not it, sure. It's not going to happen. <laughs> no, probably not. So it's Zaha. And then we have player of the month. We have Hazard. Yeah, cool. So that's pretty cool. We've got two shinies in there. Cannot complain with that. Can I now go for the stickers again? What do you think is the best of these? What do you prefer? Do you prefer the stickers here, the cards, or the tabloid stuff? We have a Luka Modric shiny for Croatia. A Jonas Hector. Pogba, who wants to move from Man United. Henderson. And a Gurla. Okay, so then for the last sticker pack for this magazine... And then we shall swap over to my cam and have a look at this month's magazine. Oh, shinies everywhere. Oh, lots of shinies. That's quite fun. It's been a good magazine, actually, isn't it? This one. Oh, nice. So we have a Tupel. And then we have a Caldron. Caldron. A Strink. Sternich. Und that's like, it's not actually pronounced. Under. 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 Yes, that's it. And a James Forrest. So that's pretty good. Definitely cannot complain at all, but we did buy it mostly for these limited editions, so one last look at them and then we will swap over to Madcam. Okay, so we swapped over to Madcam now, so we're going to take a quick look at what's inside this magazine. A lot of it focuses on the pre-season stuff and yep. the transfers. There are some pretty cool posters in here to have a look at and some pretty interesting stuff. So here's the opening weekend fixtures for the Premier League, so that's what you need to be looking out for. Yeah, Man United Chelsea to kick things off. Not bad. Yeah, let us know in the comments which are you most looking forward to, which match. That'd be interesting to know. And then we have some information on the Women's World Cup, which will be ending today, the final. Yeah. And then we move on to some transfer news, which is quite interesting. All the Real Madrid stuff. And we have some really, really cool posters in here. So this is the the Liga winners for yeah. Barcelona, so that's quite interesting and to Barcelona see. Barcelona on one page. And then we have some big money transfers. This one's already happened. Yeah, this one seems unlikely. <laughs> Very unlikely. And then we have a few more there. This has already happened as well. It was 113 million. Most expensive teenager now. Yes, <laughs> it's pretty crazy amount of money there. And then we move on to some uh, new kits and some new stuff. Ball. There's a new Premier League ball, so that's quite interesting. Price to be confirmed. Interesting 72. stuff. So there's a subscription to the Strike It magazine, and then we have the Bundesliga winners there, Bayern Munich. It's quite a nice sort of feature to have all the winners as posters. And then we move on to the International Champions Cup. So this is a pre-season friendly tournament. Mm. 
played pretty much all around the world. So yeah, here are the teams that are in it. Yep. So if you support any of these teams, then you need to look out for these following matches. Yep. There's the fixtures for that tournament. So that's pretty cool. So give that a pause if you want to look at it in more detail. Here's the, here's the Arsenal ones. Yep. We've got Real Madrid, Roma, and Bayern Munich in reverse order. Yep. And then we do have an advertisement for FIFA 20, so that will be released on the 27th of September. Yeah, it looks like it's bringing back FIFA Street as well, so that's a cool addition. Yeah, you were pretty excited about that, wasn't you? And then we have some kind of Insta shots of players' holidays and things, so that's yeah. quite interesting, worth a look. Salo and his undies. And then next we do have a double feature poster, so that is half of the Liverpool Champions, Champions of, of Europe. Europe. And then inside you have the Champions of England. Yeah, as well as their other various trophies. Man City trying to claim that the Community Shield is a major trophy now. Well, when Arsenal won it, it wasn't, apparently. Yeah, it wasn't when anyone won it. Interesting stuff. It's a pre-season tournament. But there's the other side of the <laughs> Liverpool yeah. poster as well. So that is quite a cool feature. Shit. Unless you do want to have both of them on your wall, <laughs> then I guess you have to pick. Shatiri getting a bit excited in that photo, thing. <laughs> Behave. It's the only thing you'll win. So then we, <laughs> then we have <laughs> the advertisement for the Adrenaline the XL. And then PSG, the winners there. Some milk shots. Cool, cool, cool. Some flying fullbacks. So some information on Liverpool's team, I guess, and stuff. Yeah, this guy signed for my United, Daniel James. Yep, and then we have Wrong the Daddy, was it? Syria winners there too. Juventus. Yep, and then we have a full feature on Spurs' new home. Yeah, £1 billion it's costing, so... Do you think they'll win anything at their new stadium? Because they didn't win much at their old one, did they? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a full feature yeah. on Terry Henry. So that's quite an interesting thing to follow. The best page, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's pretty cool to look at. Premier League really. legends. And then let's move on with some more mug shots. <laughs> and then we have the Dutch League winners, Ajax. Yeah, it's they had a nice great poster. season last season, I think. And then a, a quiz there. Always love a good quiz. I'll look at that afterwards. And I think I skipped a page there. Just ah, the quiz. Just more quiz uh, and, and stuff we don't need to see. The Europa League winners. So we'll, we'll keep going. Then we have some stuff from people who've signed it in. And then here's the next issue. So it will come with two limited editions for the 2020 collection. Yeah, one better than the other, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> so that's pretty cool anyway. And then we have a few of the upcoming. Trophies to be won there. Yeah, the pre-season trophies. And then on the back, it's just an advertisement for the Penny tabloid. So that is everything that is in that magazine. So, like we said earlier, this is the main reason that we bought it, was for these two limited editions. This one came in last month, and this is the one you receive with this magazine. And this is the only place where you can get them, in the magazines. Yep, they are exclusive to the magazine, so if you do want them, head over to your shop, and maybe they'll have this one still, depending but you'll definitely be able to get your hands on this one. So we hope you enjoyed today's video, but for today that is going to do it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.